Hey, pleasant good morning to you. And pleasant good morning to you nurses. And thank you, thank you so much. I discovered uh, because I spent time in hospital more than once in this country and in my home country, I discovered that the people who spend a lot of time with a patient is the nurses. These are the people. Uh, yes, the doctor is very important. Uh, in that, he has to prescribe, he says, uh, then the surgeon will cut and fix and all of that. I respect these guys. But listen, when you're in a hospital, let's say for 12 days, right? It is the nurses who you wake up and see, you go to bed and you see, and these are the ones who inject you, uh, give you your medication. And listen to this one now. Many times, the nurses are the people who calm our anxiety and quell our fears. So I pause to say thanks to the nurses. I say thanks to all nurses, and I also have to call some by name. I say thanks to Chris May, uh, my real friend as a nurse and relative. I say, by the way, hear this now. Uh, I discover that some doctors, they play the role of a nurse and the doctor. So I say thank you to you also. I call in some of your names, sorry, I didn't ask permission, but y'all good to me, man. So I say thank you uh, to Nurse Bagwan, and I say thank you uh, to uh, Dr. Nesta Mitchell. I say thank you uh, to Dr. Houston. Yeah, thanks. And hear this now. Some of you, these doctors and nurses, they help you. You walk away and you never say thanks. Man, stop that ungratefulness. Stop what you're doing today and call them up and better still, see them face to face and say thank you. I say thank you to Nurse Bornis also. Now, uh, I will get myself in trouble. I say thank you to all the nurses. Uh, listen, hear this. I am giving now some advice to nurses. In Matthew chapter 6 and verse 31, Jesus says, and he said unto them, come ye yourselves apart into a desert place and rest a while. For there were many coming and going and they had no leisure so much as to eat. Why do I bring this up? I bring this up now because nurses must understand that you have a life also. And one nurse said to me, when I asked her, what I must tell the nurses? She said to me, she's a nurse, she said, she said listen, tell them that amidst all that they do, they must take care of their families because all they have at the end of the day, retirement or whenever, is their family. Yeah, she said that. So nurses, uh, make sure. Now Jesus is here saying, take care of yourself. Come apart from your busy schedule. Use your day off. And listen to this. Don't take family members for granted. Uh, your grandparents, your brother, your sister, your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. Uh, pay keen attention to these, to these individuals. Why? Because they will end up being your last nurse. Hear me out. Now hear this now. Some of you don't have a child of your own. Well, listen to this. You must find some child, maybe a close relative and make sure you are kind to them as often as possible so that that child, as he or she grows up, will remember you. Further, in doing it, you must expose them to what you do and you may be inspiring somebody to becoming a nurse also. Don't miss out this point, you know. You may not have a child, but you must befriend some child. Like, make them your own. You may not go into adoption, but make them your own, reach out in kindness to them. Uh, then further, further listen to this. For those who criticize you, because I know nurses just get a lot of criticism. For those who criticize you, I want to throw you under the bus. Don't focus too much on tit for tat and holding grudges against them because after all, 
is y'all just look after us if we get cockabay or yas or cancer or rheumatoid arthritis or stroke or heart attack or kidney stone or herpes or hepatitis B or gonorrhea or diabetes or dengue or chikungunya or, or, or Alzheimer's disease or urinary tract infection, syphilis, tuberculosis. Y'all are the ones, and COVID, y'all are the ones who look us after. So hear this now. Follow Nightingale and do your best to look us after. And as you do that, ask God to keep your mind focused on the Jesus method. You know what was the Jesus method? Smiling and helping those who even persecute you. Nurses, again, thank you for what you do. God is going to bless you for your kindness. Our God and Father, thank you so much for your goodness towards us. Father, please, in a special way today, help the nurses to know that they need to take care of themselves and they need to also have a nice family life. And Father, please bless them with strength, wisdom, patience, and understanding so that they can do their work in a successful manner. And while they do it, please, Father, help them to have joy, and peace. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. May God richly bless you. King of my life, I crown thee now. Thine shall I glory be. Lest I forget thy torn crown, brow, lead me to Calvary. Lest I forget. Forget thine